malware is on the increase and very quickly as well especially in the form of fake antivirus programs now something you can use to help you apart from programs like web of trust threat fire wind patrol is Geswall, which is a host intrusion prevention system and it's very simple to install it's a six megabyte download this runs on Windows 2000, 2003, XP, Vista and Windows 7. 32 bits only at the moment in version 2.9. Although they do say in version 3 they hope to have a 64 bit version ready. OK, once it's installed, click close. You need to reboot to activate the program. And when you reboot, you will have the Geswar console icon in your system tray. I've moved this from program files to the desktop just to show you. When you click on the icon, you might get this pop up. Just tick do not ask again and click later. Now, if you go to the system tray, right click, you have policy notifications. Exposure time is the amount of time the pop up is displayed for. Now, this is set at one second by default. I will change it to five seconds for the time being. Blink effect, I will come to in a moment. The default setting is cyclic. You can change the isolated window color, enable the caption button, and open the console. There is a pro version as well, but this is the free version I'm dealing with. And the default setting is to isolate known applications. And you have a summary, and it shows you safe applications in the database. And this will increase as time goes on. Operations restricted, applications isolated. Now if I open up a web browser, it will ask you, an application is trying to establish a network connection or read untrusted sources, do you want to isolate this application from the rest of the system? I will select yes. Now everything done inside this is isolated from the rest of the system. You have the Geswall icon up here on the bar. If you click on it, you can change the color. You have the blink effect. Now, side click, it will continue going through from green or any other color of your choice down to blue and back to green. You can change this, and I'll change it to fall to 20%, and it will fall down to 20% and stay like that. That's it. Nice and easy. Now, if I open up the console again, Go to isolated applications, Firefox is run isolated. So what I'm going to do, this is a typical rogue with its fake awards and this is RTS antivirus. So what I'm going to do is download this. Now I've turned off all my other security applications. I will save the file and as you can see you've got the G icon there on it. So here's the pop-up. We'll minimize this window and here I have RST antivirus. I also have AKM antivirus 2010 which I downloaded earlier. Now if I right click this you can label it as trusted which I won't do because it was run it was downloaded isolated. I'm going to run it isolated and click run and allow it to install. Uh, do I want to isolate this installer? Yes. And see if it installs. It won't run because it appears to be in save mode so it won't actually do it. Now, if I run this one in isolated mode, again, you see EXE is running here. And you've got the command prompt, read only access to see documents and settings, and so it goes on. And this is actually loading up AKM Antivirus 2010. And here's the program, and it's telling you here that it's modifying critical system resources, which is an indication of malicious activity. So I'll close that window, continue evaluating, and continue unprotected. Now what I'm going to do is open the console. Now you need to click on something else and come back to isolated applications. You can just terminate. Terminate and terminate. 
that's it. All the isolated applications have been terminated. So although I've got Antivirus Pro, it was run isolated. This program would not install isolated, which is bad news. And you have to use common sense with this. So what I'm going to do is launch Malwarebytes and do a scan and see what it comes back with. Now the first thing to do obviously is to update Malwarebytes. OK, it's been updated, so I'm going to perform a quick scan. And once I've done that and removed this stuff, what I'm going to do is run it without isolating it. And you can see the difference between what Malwarebytes finds now in the isolated applications and what it finds without the isolation. OK, the scan's finished. There's 14 infections. As you can see, they're all files and folders. And you can see that this is installed AKM Antivirus, ASC Antispirus, Antispyware, Windows Police Pro, and Trojans Malware Traces. So, remove selected, I'll reboot, come back, and I will install them without the protection. Okay, the same two programs without running them, isolated. I'll simply open them as you would normally do so. And here we have EXE running. And here we have AKM Antivirus 2010 Pro. I'm going to close this one. Continue evaluating, continue unprotected. As you can see, the installer icon has disappeared. And I will install the next one. Click Next. And this is RST Antivirus 2010. And as you can see, Internet Explorer has also been launched, and I haven't launched it. And it's come up with uh, Create Your Windows Live ID. And the thing here I won't send. I'll close that window. And I will launch RST Antivirus. Ah, how similar they look. OK, what we do now is kill this process. We'll just have a look. MSI Executable. OK, I'm going to run Malwarebytes. We get a couple of things here running. which don't like to run. And here's malware bytes and I'll perform a quick scan and just see what it removes. Okay the scan's completed so let's have a look at the results. Well registry data, registry keys all bad news eh? Memory process broken open command Windows Police Pro ASE Anti-spyware, Windows Police Pro, AKM antivirus, RST antivirus, Trojan, malware trace, Trojans, memory processes and registry keys. These weren't there when it was run isolated. So I'll remove selected. Now the choice is yours. If you run them isolated, it does not affect the registry. This is the difference. And this is where the real damage is done. Now I'll reboot a little bit later and I will come back. If you want any more information and you want the download link, you'll find it at my site which is FreePCSecurity and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.